Well, this is a very complex project, like many projects of this dimension, in that it was rooted in dreams and ideas of uh, a decade or longer ago, when individuals saw the need for increased water supply in the Yakima River Basin. And a unique event occurred two or three years ago when the Rosa Irrigation District wrote a letter in collaboration with the Yakima Nation. And it proposed this new model about entities working together to improve the water supply, improve conservation, restore some fish habitat. And that involved the Tianaue. And for the first time now, we have a community forest on a treasured landscape. When you think about public acquisition of a 50,000 acre piece of land that has a diverse set of activities associated with it, it's unlike any other project I've ever been associated with. Projects like this are made possible by people working together, and without that, they won't happen. Involving local stakeholders at the very outset, bringing all of the diverse interests together is the way that you make really great things happen, and that's what happened here. I think the reason why the Tianaue Conservation Project is such a game changer is because of the partnerships that have been built along the way to ensure that the Yakima Integrated Plan has a future in the state of Washington. I think that this acquisition doesn't just mean a lot in the region and in the Tianaue area and in the Yakima Basin. I think it means a lot for the entire state and quite frankly for the nation because what we have done is preserved into the future a 50,000 acre piece of land that will be managed and engaged by local citizenry as well as those who come to visit our beautiful state of Washington. I have been very honored to be able to work alongside this team to make the Tianaway land purchase a reality.